Hi guys. So in this video, we are going to find out the nth derivative of y equal to e raised to ax cos of bx plus c. Now to find out the nth derivative, we will proceed to find out y1 that is first derivative. From first derivative, we will find out the second derivative that is y2 and from y2 we will find out y3 and from the values of y1, y2 and y3 we will predict the value of yn that is nth derivative of this function. So let's start with the first derivative. So therefore the first derivative that is y1 we will get by applying the formula of derivative on u into v. So this function is u this is v. So I will get e raised to ax that is u as it is derivative of v that is derivative of cos is nothing but minus of sine bx plus c into b plus cos of bx plus c as it is derivative of this is e raised to ax into a now from these two terms i will take e raised to ax common in the bracket we will get minus b sine of bx plus c plus a into cos of bx plus c. Now guys, if I try to find out value of y2 from this value of y1, then I will get more terms in y2 and hence I will get more number of terms in further derivatives and that will become very difficult to find out nth derivative of the given function. So to find out the nth derivative of this function, we will use some other method and the method and that method is the method of a triangle. So I am drawing one more triangle. So I am drawing a triangle here. Let's assume this side as A, this side as B, as this is a right angle triangle this will become hypotenuse and that is nothing but root of a square plus b square which is nothing but r. Let's say this is the angle phi. So from here we will get a formula for sin phi as well as cos phi. So sin phi is nothing but opposite sine that is b upon hypotenuse that is root of a square plus b square cos phi is adjacent side that is a upon root of a square plus b square. Now we are gonna make use of now we are gonna make use of these two formulas to reduce this term and to use these two formulas I am gonna divide this b and a with root of a square plus b square. And if I am dividing this with root of a square plus b square, I have to also multiply this term with root of a square plus b square. So this will this term will become e raised to ax into root of a square plus b square inside bracket minus b upon root of a square plus b square sine of bx plus c plus a upon root of a square plus b square cos of bx plus c. Now let's apply the formula e raised to x as it is root of a square plus b square we have assumed it as r so it is r inside bracket minus sign as it is b upon root of a square plus b square is sin phi then sin of bx plus c as it is Next a upon root of a square plus b square is cos phi so plus cos phi into cos of bx plus c. So guys here we are getting one more formula that is cos phi into cos bx plus c minus sin phi into sin bx plus c and that is the formula of cos of bx plus c plus phi. So we got the value of y1. Now by using 
this same triangle method if i'll try to find out y2 then in that case i will get e raised to x again i will get one more r so this will become r square next this cos term will become bx plus c plus 2 phi because that time i will get one more phi and so on so for y3 i will get e raised to ax r cube cos of bx plus c plus 3 phi so let's predict the value of yn so we will get yn as e raised to ax because we are getting e raised to ax in all the terms r raised to n because that power is matches with this derivative and cos of bx plus c plus n phi because again this multiple is matching with the derivative so for nth derivative we will get n phi and this will become and this is the formula for nth derivative of this function where i will say that value of r which is unknown is nothing but a square plus b square and to find out phi i'll go over here so sine upon cos is tan phi which is nothing but b by a and hence the phi is equal to tan inverse of b by a and therefore this is the value of phi that is tan inverse of b by a so this becomes the formula for nth derivative of e raised to ax into cos of bx plus c which we will use to solve some more problems which we will use to solve many problems thank you